Maybe you haven't acted since high school or college, but you really want to get back in the game. You might be surprised to find out there are often rich opportunities right in your hometown with community theater. We brought in an expert to tell you about it. You know, like we do. This is actor, writer, and director Doug Malcolm. He's been in community theater production since at least 2011. I asked him, what kind of backgrounds do your co-stars come from? Everything. Um, surprisingly, a lot, of, a lot of IT guys. There's been at least one IT guy in just about every single show that I've done. Got teachers, because they're able to make it in the evenings, and you wonder when do they get their grading done. We've had a lawyer, we've had a mailman, I mean, Anybody who just sets out the time in their evenings and, and just shows up and does the work. How do you get from, hey, I should be an actor, to acting in community theater? Step one, if you, if you really think you want to do it, just do it. 99% of community, no, any community theater is grateful to have people come out. Go out, audition, be ready, be ready to uh, show up and put in all the work that everybody else is doing and realize that you're not going there just to act and then uh, you know, step away, realize that you're probably going to be asked to help out with uh, some, some set building, some painting, but as long as you check your ego at the door and realize that, that these are other people in their community who also have nine to fives and are busy, but they want to make some art. They've invited you to do it too. And if you want to be a part of that, then by all means, go out for it because Making art is what makes life really worth living. What does it take to ace the audition? A person behind the audition table is watching you and wants you to show them what character are you going to give them if they cast you. So your responsibility as an actor is not to try to read their minds. You're not trying to figure out what it is that, 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 that this audition, that this person uh, who's directing and casting you, what do they want? No. What are you going to give them? So d make a decision. Decide who is this character and make it as complete as possible. Spend the time so that way when you walk up on that stage or in front of their table or whatever it may be and you put it on and then you're done. You have done your job by creating a character. And if they like it, awesome. That means that whatever you've done, you get to do it some more. But if they don't like it, fine. At least you can say that I have, in some way, shape, or form, created something that I am proud of and I am willing to keep doing. How does the audition process really work? Okay, it's different for everybody, um, but the typical way that I look at it, uh, if I'm directing, if I'm casting, is I'm going to give little sides, uh, just opportunities to see the actors interact with one another, and or give them a monologue and see what they can do with just them on stage, and see how the actor, in the moment, makes a decision. See how they go through an emotional progression. Because a lot, the, the biggest danger is just reading lines. A monologue or even a single line can be an emotional roller coaster. Uh, now, you may be asked to do some, some improv in character. If it's like a funny show, what, what can you do physically? Uh, you could be asked to do some singing uh, if it's a musical. Uh, ultimately, it comes down to being able to walk into a room where there is no guarantee of anything, and yet, in some way, shape, or form, make that room where you are most comfortable. What did these shows teach you as an actor? These shows taught me as an actor a lot of humility, a lot of patience, and the need to be flexible working with a lot of different people and finding, finding the opportunities to, to do more and to create more. If you're having fun with it, then you can invite all the other people that you're working with to have fun with it too. That's the, when community theater is at its best. Is how do you find out about opportunities in your area? Google. <laughs> 
there, depending on how large the community uh, is, the theater community specifically, they might have a website for all the additions. So for the, the Dayton and the Cincinnati area, it's called sinstages.com, C-I-N-S-T-A-G-E-S dot C-O-M. If you don't have the audition uh, website, then you're just going to want to find as many theater websites as possible. Go to their auditions uh, drop-down box and just put it down in your schedule so that you know this is coming up. Uh, there are, their performance dates are this time. At any point in time, some theater is happening. So it's just a matter of, can I be a part of it? And then, do I want to? Hey again, thanks for watching our video. We also want to thank the Cedarville Opera House for letting us film there. It's a beautiful historic building right there on downtown Cedarville. Built in 1888 is a one-third scale model of the Royal Albert Conservatory in London. It was renovated and reopened in 1994, and since then there's been a great group of community members and local artists who are striving to make this a place where art can happen. So if you want to get involved and to find out more, go to cedarvilleoperahouse.org or you can come out to their next community theater production, June 18th through 20th, where I will be putting my money where my mouth is as uh, Major Metcalf in Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.